Hello and welcome to the Voice of Apache. My name is Rich Bowen. And today I'm speaking with Stamatis Zampatakis, who is a committer and PMC member on Apache Hive. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Rich. I'm excited to participate in the Fiddle podcast. Apache Hive is just over 13 years old. It's a fairly active project and it's in the Hadoop ecosystem. Can you start us out by just giving us a really brief, like a 30 second overview of what Hive is? So Hive is a, let's say a data management platform or more commonly known as data warehouse solution for massively parallel uh, data processing, especially around uh, SQL, and uh, analytical queries. So very high level, this is what it is. So it runs, you can run SQL queries on uh, petabytes, zettabytes of data in a distributed fault tolerant manner, manner over uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, machines in the cloud, in private cloud, public cloud, uh, basically, yeah, anywhere that you have resources. So it's been a little over a month now. On March 29th, you all released the 4.0 version. And at roughly the same time, you end of life both the 2.x and the 1.x line. So this was a, a, a pretty significant milestone in the history of this project. Let's start talking a little bit about 4.0. What are the new things that your users can expect? What are the major changes around this? The whole community is pretty much uh, very excited about having the 4.0 release because this is the first major release after, I think, uh, maybe six years. It's been a pretty long time that users were asking where it's going to be the next release, uh, what we should expect, and we are happy that it's out. And this essentially brings like uh, almost actually more than 5,000 uh, commits so uh, it's pretty huge. So yeah, probably we cannot fit in the in ten minutes <laughs> all the things that were uh, yeah. used. But if we want to break it down into categories, let's say a big part of the changes or a big focus with the 4.0 release is the support for uh, Apache Iceberg. So I don't want to get into more details because this is another apache project and it has a lot of history and community but uh yeah there is a lot of traction and people uh it is gets pretty well adopted so hive as spark as uh, the other apache projects we want to have full support for uh, apache iceberg and it's uh, all basically all its uh capabilities the past few years, we've spent quite a big amount of time in order to have native support for Apache Iceberg. And many members that are contributing to Hive are also contributing to Iceberg. So there is a bit of quite a lot of integration between the teams of Apache Iceberg and Apache Hive. So the 4.0 users will be for the first time able to use many, many of the features that Apache Iceberg for, uh, offers. And the, yeah, there is native support for Iceberg. And this, I guess, uh, it will be again the um, focus in the subsequent releases. So uh, we still uh, Apache Iceberg is evolving, and uh, so does uh, support in Hive for Iceberg. Okay. This is the first big part that was uh, we were working on the fourth .o release. Apart from that, uh, there has been a lot, a large amount of work about uh, performance improvements. So uh, this, uh, I mean, in terms of, uh, yeah, it's not a feature that the end user can say like, uh, I, I will do it, but uh, performance is something that has uh, been on the forefront since the beginning. So we want things to be efficient and we want queries to run fast and as much uh, with uh, as uh, limited resources as possible, because there is a big shift into the cloud right now, I mean, the, the past years. Mm -hmm. So if queries are slow or if uh, queries are taking a lot of CPU and memory and stuff, all these uh, incur uh, cost. So there has been a lot of work on these aspects, both at the compiler side, 
or the query compiler side, and also at the runtime. And this spans uh, quite a few areas. So Hive uses the cost-based optimizer. So there are all, a lot of improvements in this aspect. This involves some uh, upgrades to recent Apache Cal side releases that powers the cost-based optimizer. More powerful constant reduction, constant folding. Yeah, I don't want to get into details because there are really many, many, many aspects, uh, tickets that go into this uh, bucket. And uh, yeah, of course, we have improvements in uh, vectorization, so vectorized execution. We have uh, improvements on federation queries, so a lot of things that can be pushed down to JDBC data sources, leading to faster queries and more efficient execution, and many, many more things around partitioning uh, and other aspects. So this is a big, uh, the second big bucket of uh, things that go into Apache 4. And yeah, I mean, uh, from 5,000 commits, maybe uh, I would say 1,000 are related to this. So yeah, I, I guess that the users can expect significant performance improvements. And the third bucket is uh, related to security. There have been a lot of library and dependency upgrades and uh, targeting also CVs that were reported for Hive. So there has, yeah, I mean, I, I would say that the biggest bucket of changes was uh, upgrades. So third or transitive dependencies that were vulnerable to sever several things. And uh, yeah, we, we updated all those. The newer version will have significantly smaller number of uh, CVs. So security has been a milestone. Fourth category, and pretty, uh, pretty important as well, is uh, bug fixes. Mm -hmm. And in terms of bug fixes, I would like to mention for the um, first and most important one is the wrong result. So Hive is a qu SQL query execution engine. This is uh, having correct results for the SQL queries is uh, of utmost importance. Sure. And we have really worked hard to solve as many as possible. So basically uh, with the 4.0 release, we addressed all of the known, let's say, more significant wrong result issues and this is was actually one of the reasons that took a bit longer in order to release because uh, we we're finding discovering new problems and we wanted to cover everything and basically the release date was being postponed mainly due to this aspect users who migrate to high four are expected to have much better uh, much be much much better in terms of uh, correctness this is the fourth uh, fourth part and i think that is the most significant changes now in the fifth uh, part we have uh, of course uh, lots of um, improvements and enhancements at the sql uh, level so there is a tendency to get closer to the sql standard support new functions support or add flags and uh, more configurations to have the standard behavior the standard sql behavior and also there are many also extensions that things were not supported and now they are supported the work has been done on the compiler on the parse on the sql compiler on the parser and all the other aspects so some are related to compatibility and with SQL standard, and some are uh, other useful features that are uh, for Hive users or in general interesting things to have from a SQL engine. One thing to mention is that we are pushing a lot uh, during this time the improvements in HPL SQL. Hmm. This is the procedural uh, style language for, uh, for Hive. So, this has been contributed initially uh, around uh, 2015, if I recall well, but it has got also significant traction uh, lately because users uh, tend to use it more and more. So we are pushing new things and fixes around this area as well. So yeah, as I said, like 5,000 commits is hard to, to cover right. in, uh, yeah. in 10, 15 minutes. So uh, yeah, I think I would stop here. It's been almost two months, I guess. How has this been received by the by the user community? Is this has it been 
well received, been a lot of feedback. We have the, we had some feedback, so things are uh, interesting because people are starting to use it. I haven't seen we haven't seen in the mailing list many many. Uh, I mean, we haven't seen actually upgrade problems. Okay. We haven't seen uh, regressions, and uh, this is a, a, a good and bad. Good because maybe we did an awesome work with High Four, and it's it's yeah the best release in history. And bad maybe because uh, we haven't uh, the users are not using it as widely as we would like. But uh, I mean, I checked the download statistics for Apache Hive, mm -hmm. and uh, basically we have quite a few downloads per day for the Apache Four. And this makes it the second most popular compared to 3.1.3. So 3.1.3 has been there for a while, but uh, 4 seems to catch up, and I hopefully it will overpass yeah. the 3.1.3 release pretty soon. Tell me about the deprecation of the 1.x and 2.x lines. Why was that done? The thing is that these were pretty old uh, releases, and yeah. uh, the community does not have uh, sufficient resources to maintain these lies. So there has been discussions for a long time. And as we said, like we discovered many problems of wrong results, performance problems, security vulnerabilities, due to dependencies. And since we cannot backport all of this to yeah. one line and uh, do two line, we said that it's better to give a heads up to the user that yeah they should upgrade soon because we cannot we don't have the capacity to maintain those lines and have them in a quality that we would like for an open source not for for an Apache project. So we yeah. want this to be at its best. And with High Four, we expect that this is the case. So we prefer that we shift our focus to the latest and greatest, let's mm -hmm. say, and uh, let the users know that we cannot maintain them at the moment. Now that you've got this major new release out, what's next? So there is already plans for a new minor release. So we are already planning uh, 401 or targeting some uh, things that we discovered uh, after the release. So some important problems. So we would like to get this out in the next month or so, so that we resolve any kind of blocker that there may be for high, for high four. And of course, uh, I guess the next step would be 4.1. And what we would like to achieve is uh, have uh, much more recent releases. We, want to, we don't want to have the next major release in five years. Yeah. So what we, were, we discussed and we would like to, to do is have 4.1 or 4.2 in kind of uh, quarterly intervals. This is our goal to limit, uh, let's say, significant breaking changes so that we are able to release in a much more regular uh, rhythm so that the users can take advantage of all the cool things that happen without waiting for a long time. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. This is definitely an exciting new milestone in your project. And uh, we look forward to seeing what comes next. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for reminding me. And if you want to learn more about Hive, you can catch up at hive.apache.org, and the full release notes are there. So we look forward to seeing more of you come and join this, this exciting community. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ritz.